Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. What an honor for us to be up here to witness all of this, all of God's creation. You guys have an amazing place here in Newfoundland, and we just want to thank you so much for allowing us to come up and being able to witness it here with you guys. Hey, welcome to The Choice. This week we're heading back up to efforts hunting up in Newfoundland. Christy and I, moose hunting, caribou hunting, but now it's my turn. I'm up for the caribou. Why I'm still remaining, sitting at home, vacuuming, washing, He's not vacuuming, windows, he's not washing, and he's just clothes, doing nothing. Probably mowing, raking leaves. No, that's not what he's doing, I promise Folding you We laundry. had so much fun up there, oh, and I mean, we I'm saw so you. many moose and caribou, and just everything that was going on, and we have a lot to show you again. So Poor let's get Dwayne. going. Ralph! Poor Dwayne. Why? Ralph! To be in a little hut with you two. Hut? We were intense. <clears throat> I could <laughs> Oh, we laughed. That's all that mattered. We had a great time, and we laughed, and that's what it's about. So let's get going. Vicki and her friend Christy from Realtree have arrived at Efforts Hunting Adventures in Newfoundland, and the two are ecstatic for the hunt to come. This will not only be Christy's first moose hunt, but her first time in Canada, and first time on a float plane. Unbelievably, within the first half hour of the week-long hunt, the crew spots a large bull moose, a phenomenon that most hunters can only dream of. With Vicky and Guy Dwayne by her side, Christy prepares for a shot at the bull, now 200 yards away. He's down. <laughs> you just shot him. <laughs> With the moose down, the crew must now hike the 200 yards through rugged terrain and the track does not disappoint. I mean, look at you. a beautiful noofy bowl. I look at a, this. He's got a busted up antler there. Yeah, that, which is just so neat. It's unique. It's it very is unique. unique. It is. It is. Look at his ear is all kind of yeah. tattered up it from, is. from fighting. He probably got it stuck between something and another antler just kind of yeah. ripped it. Oh, you know that hurt. That's a, yeah, that Just grew right back. See that? Yeah, it just sealed back up. Yeah. They're tough critters. Yeah. I mean, you pinned him. Yeah. At this point, I'm very grateful that I was able to be here with Vicki and, and just our friendship to, to continue to deepen that much more over this adventure. I love eggs from my head down to my leg. Come on. Scrambled or fried with family or the guys, I love eggs. <laughs> It's gonna be like a five cup of coffee kind of day. Oh Ralph! So being behind the camera is not something I have done. I've not done much video experience, so I'm just breaking everything in on this trip. So I am camera in hand right there with my friend, and it meant a lot to me to be with her on this adventure because she has never done this before, so that's something that also doesn't happen often. She's been a lot of places and done so many things, so for me to be able to then in turn go with her on something that's a, a first for her was, was really, really cool. And to be able to document it on top of that is just icing on the cake. from like coyotes or wolves or something. And he said, no, it's actually from when the bulls are fighting. They're starting to rut, so they start fighting and they're tearing some stuff up.
So we looked for caribou that afternoon, and you know what? Nothing was moving. By the way, we're moving. We packed up all of our gear. We went out and hunted moose for this morning from Caribou. And um, we had to pack everything up because Bob's gonna fly in today and pick us up. And we're gonna go to a different area that maybe has more opportunity for Caribou. But we gotta pack everything up first and have some lunch. Then we got burgers going. Later in the afternoon, Bob Effort, the owner and outfitter, arrives to transport the crew to a new location to continue their hunt for caribou. Being a skilled bush pilot and very experienced in Newfoundland wilderness, Bob believes the new location will bring a higher chance of a successful hunt. We got into camp and we got everything set up and Dwayne says, come on, let's go and take a little bit of a look. A little bit of a look to Dwayne is like, five miles, one way. Well, Bob flew us over to a different camp where there's more caribou at, right? Yeah. So we're out, we're gonna start glassing, start looking for them. You told us that this is, I mean, the terrain is obviously different than where we were hunting for ground, moose. Yeah. It's more caribou ground and uh, we're gonna have a lot of extra miles put on our feet, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of walking, a lot of walking now. A lot of walking, but you told us it was easier walking. It is, yeah, it's a lot it's of not as Boggy. You don't have to push okay. and pull your foot. No, this, you don't have to spring. There's some bog up here, but not much. Not much. All right, All right. we'll just keep glassing and find me a caribou. We went out, we started hiking, and Dwayne kept saying, oh, we're just gonna go a little bit further down there. We're just gonna go over to that ridge there. We're gonna go lookout point. Well, when he's pointing just in a general direction, you think he's pointing at like this next little rise? No, no, that's not what he's pointing at. He's pointing at the hill that's like three miles away as the crow flies. Go over there, have a little look. A couple of caribou right there. See the marshmallows? Hey, hey. I see another bunch. Some more in there. I see them. Oh, look, a little bunch there, though. It looks like there's a whole bunch over there. It is, right there. On that other hill. Right on inside, there's more, too. It's right there on the hill, too, a lot, though. Huh? See the closest the hill? Yeah. There's something there, and right on inside, the caribou's got out everywhere. They are all laid down. So we got set up, we got up to the hill, and we started seeing caribou. There were caribou spread out all over the country here. I mean, you just look, you're glassing, and all of a sudden, you just see, one marshmallow and another marshmallow because that's what they look like out on the tundra. And Dwayne says, you know what? He goes, Vic, I think we need to go over there. We try to get across this bog. We got up to, he said, I just want to go see this one stag, this caribou, and just see what he looks like. We got to get closer. So we hauled booty all the way across the bog trying to get to them. We spotted a bunch of caribou. We just got to see if we can find a stag, a bull, and see if we can get one on, get one on, get up on it. So. There's a bunch of caribou over there. We just gotta see if we can get close and find a stag. The stag is there, though. Right over in that bunch, that bunch right of- Right there in the bunch in that tree, yeah, right? Yeah, right in the center, yeah. Oh, yeah. Think they're gonna hang there? Well, it looks like they're feeding, so he was there in that last hour. Give us another. 25 minutes, we see what's there. Okay. Those big stag right there, they're walking on that way. They're all walking on that ridge. Is that him? No, uh, I'm not sure, it's one. It's kind of pretty. Isn't they? It is. Let's go to that knob there, look. All right. And get a better look in there. Don't shoot if you don't like them. And seeing lots of caribou. The first day, so we're having fun. The cows wind at us. It's too small here. It, it looks like his it, one best comes out like that, the other one kind of goes out like this, and it's got like that cow's wind at us. The cows wind at us. 
We looked at him. I had my scope on him the whole nine yards. And then he goes, yeah, no, I don't think so. And two more days to try again. It'd been really nice if it was just the perfect one to shoot because then we didn't have to hike 12 miles tomorrow. But but it is our first full day of caribou hunt. It is at the new camp on Caribou Pond. Is it? I don't know. They didn't have a name for the lake, so we're called <laughs> Caribou Pond. What a beautiful morning. Look at the clouds are going beautiful so place. fast. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, the wind's picked up, but it's pretty. We weren't going to be going across the water because Dwayne actually brought his boat around the corner here for us, so we didn't have to get soaked and wet like we did on the way back. And we're setting off. It's not the easiest hunt. I'm telling you, it's not an easy hunt. But if you have it here in your head that you want to succeed and you want to get this done, you can do it. And that's all of us here in camp. We had that mentality, and we knew we could do this. And we were walking and walking, and we went about a mile and a half or two miles. And I looked over on the ridge, I seen the caribou. It's kind of out of our way where we was going, but they're closer. So, <laughs> so we'll go have a look at them. It's nice circle back around if there's nothing there. You know right. what I mean? Go up there and cut them across, right? Okay. You know what I mean? There's... Or better yet, let's just go up there and shoot one. You no, know, didn't happen too, but it got to be good. Well, no, I know, but it, <laughs> we could go up there and shoot one. <laughs> and I have to go continue on. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so we left and went for him. And we, we walked across the big yellow marsh and we put a stock on him. We had to go across here now, keep, keep the wind right on us. And they're over on that side, they're feeding them across. So I'm open to cut them off. And I'd look at it, see what's there. What do you think, Biggie? Sounds a great idea. We're just gonna try keeping like to trees or something, so we kind of keep well, our wind in the trees. Yeah, it's gonna be a job to keep in cover because well, there's not <laughs> really nothing there. Looking straight at us, winding us. Now we start getting closer and closer, and all of a sudden we saw this beautiful stag, and he had four or five cows with him. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah, he's a good one, Vicky. All right. Why now? Why now, Vicky? Oh, there's a bunch of cows coming. Yeah, that's right. That's going to dig in windows. There's a bunch of cows coming in front of us. If he would just turn the right side, I'd still have a clear shot. Wait, wait till he turns. Yep. So he gets in front of the door. Yeah, but now he's in that timber there. The cows are in the way. The cows wait, are in wait, the way. Wait till, wait till he moves. Oh, now we got cows in front of him. One right in front of the vitals. Yeah, wait till, wait till, you, wait till the cows moves. He, he get cleared in the once. So he had a whole bunch of does come in in front of me. I couldn't get a shot because they were in the way. And then he herded them up and they started walking away. All right, Vicky, let's move over. You're going with the cows, let's move over. Dwayne said, come on, let's get closer. So we hauled again, got up a different spot, set up my bog pods, threw that 300 up on there. Are you on him? You on him? Yeah. And as soon as he gave me that shot, that was it. My 300, my Browning 300 win mag, boom. His antlers aren't moving much. No, he's on the side, he's, a, he's done. Is he done done? Yeah, yeah he's done done, he's on the side there. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a big difference between done and the done done. No, I'm pretty sure he's done done. Because I'm not seeing any movement in he's, his antlers. He's stretched out. Oh my gosh. Now I can get excited because you have to be serious until you know you put that animal down. He's, he's Sir, wait. 
We did it and we didn't walk 12 miles. <laughs> Oh, I have a beautiful woodland caramel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, thank you, Christy, for coming with me on this trip. Oh, what fun. Kenneth? <laughs> oh my gosh. See, we had a positive mental attitude yes, this we, morning. We, we said we were going to shoot we a caribou. More good fortune. Not eight miles away. No. Come on, we did awesome. And it's, <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> And wouldn't you know, our blessings and good fortune continued because she was able to fill her tag on our first full day of hunting caribou. Vicki, Christy, and Guy Duane have just successfully stalked a caribou and made the shot. After some well-deserved celebration over Vicky's first woodland caribou, the crew can't wait to see him up close. I couldn't believe it that I actually got this beautiful woodland caribou. As soon as I shot, Duane's like, you got him, you got him, and Christy and I are all excited again and everything, emotions, the whole nine yards, and we walked up on it and he is beautiful. Look at him. He's a beautiful caribou. Look at them bezes on him. Beautiful. Holy cow. What a beautiful bull. Sorry, stag. <laughs> it's a stag here. Oh my goodness. This is uh, my first woodland. I've never shot a woodland caribou. Dwayne, thank you so much. Not a problem. It's, he's beautiful. Thank you, bud. Appreciate it. All right. We're up here at Efforts Hunting Adventures, and this is just, I mean, he, this one had, what would you say, 25 cows? 25 cows, and those with no cows. Oh, cow, those, yeah. And when we got set up on him, on, when I was on that rock, and he had, what, like four of them with him? Yeah, four of them. And then all of a sudden, you're like, wait, Vic, and I turn, and I look, and there's just a whole bunch more cows coming, or does coming, and then they got in the way. Them women always get in the way, don't oh, they? Oh, always, usually, yeah. Yeah, I figured you'd agree with me on that one. <laughs> But we just got set up again and you knew right where we needed to go and now I have this beautiful bull. 29 points. Way to go. 29 point stag. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And you know what the best thing was? Is he was only two miles from camp as the crow flies. So I mean, yeah, we walked probably eight miles for that hunt, which is not easy in this bog, in this terrain, in this wilderness but it was so well worth it. Again, when you're taking trophy shots, it's about the memories and everything that went on in that camp and during that adventure and on that hunt. This beautiful woodland caribou is a perfect prime example of this one's so much easier to move. Christy's moose wasn't easy to move. We had to do what we had to do for that shot. This one, we actually, he was facing that way. We spun him around so we'd get the lake behind us in the photos. Make sure you do the best you can for your trophy shots. They're the memories of a lifetime. This has really, truly been an amazing trip. And Bob, thank you guys so much. Efforts hunting, Dwayne. This has been, a, what an honor for us to be up here to witness all of this, all of God's creation. You guys have an amazing place here in Newfoundland. And we just wanna thank you so much for allowing us to come up and being able to witness it here with you guys. Thank you. Ralph, you missed out. Congratulations. Thank you. What a great bull. I mean, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, beautiful woodland caribou. Oh. You know what I mean? Caribou hunting is getting harder and harder to come yes, by. Yes, ma'am. And we had the opportunity and we seized the moment. I mean, we put a lot of miles between just trying. We were hunting, we were hiking 14 something miles like that a day just for the caribou. And it's not straight flat. Oh, no, not it's newfie. It's spongy, it's hard, it's pit holes. I mean, it's, it's everything you can imagine. And I had blisters, but you know what? I, I, I had blisters too. On your fingers again? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. Hey, Bob, Dwayne, all you guys up at Efforts Hunting, thank you so much for making this trip, a, you know, a memory, a lifetime of memory for you for and us. Christy. For Christy and I, and Christy and I, and Dwayne. Poor Dwayne. I mean, we had so much fun. We had, and we got some beautiful caribous. Our, we had all the meat shipped back yep. home. So I mean, we've got freezers full of meat, and I mean, there's not much more to say. But thank you guys. And hey, we want to thank you guys for making your choice. The choice. And we'll see you next week. I think maybe I'll be able to hunt.